Sarah Beth, people are probably wondering about your background. How did you get started in this business? How did I get started? Yeah, how did I you mean, get started? I mean, there wasn't really a plan. Business? I just was a really good cook at home, and I loved to bake. And and my first mother-in-law taught me how to how to to cook and bake, and. I just love doing it, and I think that I just accidentally fell into it. I mean, if you read my other book, you've read the introduction. The, the listeners probably don't know, but I began with a family recipe that for my orange apricot marmalade that I made in my home, and I made it for people, and they loved it. And the, and somebody had a friend, and a friend had a friend who had a friend, and everybody talked about it. And uh, I served it in a cafe that my husband had built for a uh, client of his. He and his partner were builders and they at the opening they asked they asked I said to my husband I said maybe I'm going to make that marmalade for for the opening and he said oh that's that that's that's a good idea and the rest is history people love the marmalade I had to find it I started to make it at home I started to sell a few jars and before you know it I was in business and then in business I went from the marmalade to having to take it out of my house because I couldn't continue to make it there it wasn't really you know in, in it's not appropriate to cook from home and sell and so that's how it all happened we opened the first place then we opened the second and blah 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 and here we are now what is this number 15 or 16 I've lost count already Congratulations. Soon to, and soon to open in Dubai and we'll be Dubai. opening I guess we just opened in Korea and uh, what about Taiwan, Hawaii? That's a possible hor- on the horizon. Oh, We're okay. working on that one now. All right. What advice would you give to someone who would like to try to follow in your footsteps? It's a lot different today to build a business like this. Now it takes money, a lot of money. Hmm. And when I started thirty five years ago, we were able to take a small little storefront and and my husband renovated it, and what did we spend? $40,000 to open this most adorable little place you ever saw. That's how it started. Now it's a bigger undertaking, and it's, it's harder in the restaurant world to survive. You need to have more tables and more seats because you need to do bigger numbers to pay the rents, and it's not so simple. So what I would tell people is, you know, if you want to do something like this, you really have to love it. You need to start small. And you have to really first go out and work the restaurant world and see if you really like this and you really want these hours and you want this standing on your feet all day and to, to and dealing with the public and always being cordial even when your feet hurt you and you're seating everybody at the table at night, you know, because that's how we all got started. Sure. You have to really be sure this is something you want to do. It's a big commitment. Are you saying it's still possible? I think it's still possible. So if someone has... Everything is possible. Your dream, everybody's dream is possible. So the dream can come true. Yes, it can. Just like yours. Yes. Sarah Beth, once again, thank you very much for joining us here on The Kong Show. Congratulations on your fifth restaurant. We'll be fifth restaurant in Japan. Yes. As you said, you have 15 other restaurants about to open in Dubai. I have to really count. Let's see, there's five freestanding. Four, Lord & Taylor, is nine. One in Key West is ten. Five here is 15, Korea there you is go. 16. It's 16. We 16. just counted them. That's amazing. You and Bill have built an empire, and it continues, and we wish you more success. Oh, thank you so much. And and it's always best. wonderful to see you, and I hope every time I come, you'll, you'll come and find me. I will. You can count on that. Thank you so much. Sarah Beth Levine, thank you for joining us.